Hey guys, Brenny here, and I have a special guest for this hardcore episode. The thing is, I'm going to be recording the gameplay before because I don't think I could play, speak to someone, and do the commentary, so you might not like that, but I have a special guest and a topic, and this guy's been my homeboy for a fairly long time now, um, so introduce yourself. Uh, hi everyone, it's Drammy here, and yeah. That's I make in YouTube and videos I... on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I make my also I also um, make Minecraft videos, and yeah. Anyway, our topics for today are what we would add to Minecraft, what we would take away, and what we would change. Because recently I had some cool ideas, and then just the recent updates, there's been little things I'd want to change. And I basically told Rami like an hour ago, think of some topics. And <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, you're my special guest today. Um, so I figured I'd start. I would like to see a mob leader thing going. Because mobs spawn in groups of, say, just zombies, just spiders, just... And I would like ones occasionally with like a stronger zombie. And um, I would also like to see mixed mobs. Like it would have one spider, one skeleton, one uh, creeper, all that crap. And what would happen is um, if it was nighttime, which also, or nighttime or uh, like rainy day, which also brings up my other point, I'd like a smoother transaction between the weather because it's like you're walking and then bam, it's raining. It's I don't like that. I figured they could just tweak that a bit. Uh, but I was thinking if they got struck by lightning, that group, it would actually form like a super mob that could climb, teleport, shoot, and poison. I figured the poison would be the zombies effect. Um, and maybe even if it was low health, that it would, it would explode. And then when you killed this, um, you got like a diamond reward or something, or just, it would be cool, it would be fun. Um, and I figured it wouldn't really affect the game in a bad way, and it wouldn't really mess with the whole game feel. Because I feel Minecraft has a feel, and that's why everyone likes it. So, now we'll go to what Rami wants to see added. Um, I was thinking that they could, um, add, like, a, do a massive update on the farms. Like, add heaps more stuff. Um, make it easier to find watermelon seeds and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And, yeah, just add a bunch of new things, um, like food and, yeah. So, you yeah. basically want more materials to play around with. Yeah, basically. Alright, now now we'll go to the things I want to change or take away. Now, I was really excited when the idea of dragons came out. I was like, oh, it's going to be awesome. But that was kind of a flop for me. They're in a whole other area. The area is just... It doesn't look good, the area. We're going to the area really doesn't have much point. It's like, alright, you can kill the dragon and end the game. But then there's not really much else you can do kind of thing. Um, so I would like to see maybe dragons because i was thinking the whole anvil thing that actually makes your world taller i think that's what it is uh we could have really high peaked mountains and at the top of the mountains could be like a cave with a dragon in it and i thought that was so much cooler than the idea of going to a whole different area i don't like that i i think if we dig down deep enough that's where the nether should be and stuff like that instead of teleporting from worlds and stuff like that mm -hmm. um but like just a basic system of um Say there's a chest with a diamond something in it, the dragon's protecting it. Maybe you can even, um, I've actually brought this up in a previous video a while ago though. Um, but yeah, I just thought that would be so much cooler. Um, of course you'd have to tweak the dragon so you weren't like building a huge structure and then it just smashes through it and blows it up. Yeah. But like, you could maybe have it, um, burn shit or something. Considering there's endermen that pull apart your shit, I don't see anything wrong with having a dragon that only st maybe it could just stay up in the sky area so if you're gonna build up there you know oh there's a dragon but yeah that's that's my little view and the thing i'd like changed is potions i feel they're it's not they're overly complicated like i learned the basics of them not too long ago it's just that maybe have a recipe book just because i don't want to have to be youtubing guides and stuff just to learn how to make potions i don't think it would be actually that fun to figure it out just because it's a lot of playing around and waiting for the things. Maybe a faster way to do it or something. I don't really know. But yeah, that's what I would like to change about the game. And Rami, sorry. Um Yeah. Um, I thought, like, same thing pretty much with the Ender Dragon and how they added potions pretty much, I guess, for the Ender Dragon to make it yeah. possible uh, to complete. But, but now, um, now it's even easier because they have, like, the enchantments on the bow. Like, if you get a high damage bow enchantment, yeah. you can, like, three-shot the dragon. Isn't it like some, there's one like with infinite ammo or something? Yeah, or yeah, you can get, and you can get more than one on one bow kind of thing. It's, it's, yeah, it seems too easy to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, and with the whole potions idea, I think it's a little too technical for a game like Minecraft. Like, it's not such a technical idea, but for something as simple as Minecraft, yeah. um, 
and like unique it doesn't really need potions hmm. um but I, yeah i was I happy I with the enchanting but then the potions i wasn't really yeah. happy with because mm. enchanting it's like you kill to get it but potions it's kind of like oh, i gotta go all the way to the nether get this do that just to make one potion yeah. of like that, running that, yeah that caused me to die on my hardcore series a lot so that, was a, <laughs> that was a pain <laughs> How many, how many uh, times, did, how many hard course did you start? <laughs> I had like uh, two, then I had one that went for like 10 episodes and then that, oh, I died there. You, you, at least you beat me. I had my first episode, then I died. <laughs> but the, I'm doing all right now. I'm doing all right. Um, yeah. But yeah, maybe like the potions could be like a reward for something. I don't know. I feel there could be some more natural spawn structures put because I also think, uh, that although they are working on, on it because they did add the iron golems and the zombies trying to eat the uh people but it doesn't really the village thing it's not got real no purpose to me mm. i want to be up like the most purpose a village has to me is to break their wheat to chop down their houses and get wood and cobblestone and to check for a blacksmith to see if i can get some cool shit and for some reason i think i'm cursed with that because whenever i go into a blacksmith it's like all right here's the diamond and it's like a pickaxe or something of like the, the iron one <laughs> And then I'll do it in a creative world, and I'll always get something cool. I think it's, like, programmed yeah. to be annoying like that. But, yeah. yeah. Um, I also had some little backup topics, because I didn't know how fast we'd go through this. Do you, is there anything else you have ideas of? Um, I thought, like, I didn't like... Um, this is, like, a little bit older, though. Like, when they updated the eating, how it just... Um, you have to wait for it to regenerate. I didn't like that. I liked yeah, when it... it, it just I didn't like much. that either, but... Um, that's the addition with potions, there's instant heal things. I think maybe they could scrap the potions and maybe you could like enchant food or some shit and it yeah. just does little effects. I don't know, I want it to be more simple, but then when you think about it, I'm going and adding super mobs and shit, but I think that would be fun. Like, <laughs> yeah. imagine like this hard ass mob that teleports and chases you and it's like the hardest thing to kill, mm. don't but they you have would get creeper? amazing reward. What do you mean? Don't they have that super creeper thing, I think? Super creeper? Don't they have the one where, like, if it's hit, it's hit, it, uh, if it's hit by lightning, it like turns massive and uh, stuff? Oh no, I think they have um, if a zombie gets hit by lightning, it turns into a zombie pig man, which is like, I don't think it's even dangerous. Yeah, it's um, the pig man. Yeah, it's like maybe um, like they could like have a boss area that would spawn because strongholds even don't that have that much reward and they're so hard to find the the reason you find a stronghold is get, to get to the end to kill the dragon and that's all there's no other it's like you don't get really you get i think you get level 100 about from it that's yeah. all really but yeah now they have the um potion thing that you can make that just gives you experience when you throw it on the floor yeah the experience mm -hmm. potion I, I do like those um what are they like bla uh blasts little uh, dispenser things the thing that shoots the gas bullet out of it basically uh the fire charge yeah yeah i really like that but i don't know what really practical thing it would be used for on and off um what are they called heaters i guess <laughs> or light places oh uh, yeah maybe you could yeah you could have it at like the back and it would hit the wall and then like yeah the netherrack that's that's a good idea have you seen that done or something yeah so on uh, that minecraft.net it's pretty cool um but yeah like, i don't know Oh, you should see, I have my little list here, and I have, um, just to remember to link your channel in the description, <laughs> and I writ description, like, do description in. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, but yeah. anyway, we'll go to my little other topics that I just have backup topics. Um, I want to speak about pre-known Macca's meals. I don't know if I've, like, <laughs> spoken about this, but I always go to, like, a fast food place, and in my head, I have a meal. So, at Macca's, it's, um... A 10 nugget meal, large with Coke and sweet and sour sauce. At KFC, it's a um, popcorn chicken meal. And I have my meals that just in the back of my head, I'll always probably end up getting. So I've noticed I've started going to Mac because I'm like, I really want to mix it up today. So someone will be getting served. I'll be next in line. And I'm looking at the thing, trying to decide what I want. And like, I'm still looking. And as soon as that person served and the lady's like, yeah, how can I help you? I'm like, yeah, and I just say my normal meal. Oh, it's a nugget <laughs> meal. Like, I never change it. I sit there and try my hardest, but I'm, I don't know. It's yeah. a meal I fall on, and I just, I didn't know if that was everyone. Do you do that? Or? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people are like that because I work at Macca's on the cash register, and people. Like, do you get like? You, do you get like yeah. regulars? Uh yeah, you get regulars that order like the same thing, and sometimes they mix it up. But um, 
when you ask them like can i help you they feel obliged that they have yeah. to be like quick i feel but... you guys are too pushy yeah so, it's, it's like the mac is near crystal's house is like so laid back like i go in there and i'm standing at the thing and they're just all speaking about crap they're, <laughs> they're so young and i'm like why are they so young because like this is a really popular mac is too like this one time i went i swear there was like 60 people in there mm. and i don't know if that's like above average for the rest of the world because i yeah yeah the, like there was like that many at mine on the weekend oh, after wow. the footy game oh yeah yeah like sports events and crap would just yeah. it up um but yeah i just thought that was kind of funny but the thing about you said regulars i'm i would used to go to 7-eleven like every night and i'd always catch the three people on night shift and i they would basically know me and my mates and you know how you like at night if you go into a shop they're always keeping your eye on you just like worried you're gonna steal or some shit yeah yeah well they just yeah they were fully like doing whatever they want because they trusted us kind of thing it was awesome should have should have used my advantage there and stole some shit (laughs) but yeah um still a kit cat (laughs) see if i have any other little topics ah here we go um you're a gamer rami this one is good for you this one is by the sidester 21 so i'll try to link him in the description as well as rami Uh, and he wants to know what would you do if you weren't making videos and playing games basically uh, I think I'd be doing like a heap more. I think I'd be activity. ripped, man. Yeah, I'd be yeah. like, <laughs> there's not like what's all right. In my head, I've just got eat, sleep, game, babes. <laughs> it Ta- just changed the take game, away so game. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get ripped for the babes. That's how. Yeah. That's how it would be. Or I don't know. But then when you think about like when I think about taking away YouTube from me, because that was also by two five two. Is that that guy that was in um my thing? Uh, but basically he says, "What if YouTube and Minecraft and games weren't invented? What would I be doing?" It's kind of the same thing, except YouTube. I feel has matured me a lot, so I don't really know. I'd be really immature. I feel <laughs> the internet makes you matured faster than you should, and yeah. but it's good in a way. But I feel the internet's also killing itself, like. Mm, I think, think it, younger and younger people yeah, are getting on every it, year like, it's getting younger that chick, little girls are sleeping with like people their age and it's just terrible because I feel the internet and the human race is going to kill itself yeah what are we going to alright so this year it's probably alright if you have sex at 14 you're a slut next year probably still 14 the next year 13 what's mm. it is it going to be 9 soon and stuff like that it's like <laughs> oh she she's so frigid she hasn't had sex at 9 it's horrible <laughs> and then that's like the same with the internet the internet is just getting more and more dickheads <laughs> because i feel maybe kids are coming to it at a younger age and like getting involved with the bad idiots on the internet and then that's just making them yeah. even worse and like any game you play right now it's always got that bad i remember when i was like young and playing runescape and other games and stuff like that you could trust people you could speak to someone and trust that they're not trying to get your personal information and stuff like that but now yeah now it's like oh this guy wants to hang out and try to kill me or this guy wants to send me a picture to rat me this guy it's terrible but yeah um hmm this yeah, one guy has a lot of topics, but I don't know if we should, um... Wait, wait, I'll see. Uh... Alright, this one's this one's small, and it, it could be directed at both of us. Um, it's by 222 Jacob. Uh, he wants... He suggested some little things. Uh, so there was... What did you begin playing Minecraft? Oh, when did you begin playing Minecraft? That was about two years ago, mainly because of C-Nanners, but... I believe a guy called Magic HD was the first guy I saw post Minecraft, so you could kind of say him too. Uh, how about you? Um, uh, yeah, same scene as I was watching his videos, thinking this game is pretty cool, mm. and I had a couple friends that uh, convinced me to start it. So right. yeah. Uh, now this guy basically suggests uh, online series like player. Uh, what is it? SMP. Would you be into that? Uh, is that going to in your like library of wanting to make videos? Because right now you do the just let's plays and uh, random reviews. Reviews, yeah. And yeah, um, I'll see. Like, um, I'm planning to do heaps of things uh, as my channel grows. Maybe you and, and Zoid sometime. Pardon? Maybe you and Zoid could hook up and. Yeah, yeah. we were planning <laughs> to do a dual com sometime soon, and yeah, not hook up, but yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, I would like to. It's always been on my mind, but I want to buy a good server just because we're Aussies. We can't really get a good server going, and I can host it off my internet, but then the recording quality drops and my computer's under a lot of stress, although I think this computer could handle it. But um, like, still recording, think about it. I would be recording Skype, which would be using internet. I would be playing the server, which would be using internet. And I would be hosting the server which uses the internet. I also have two other people in my house that use the internet pretty hardcore as well. Yeah. So it would kind of kill it off. Um, but yeah, if I bought a small server with me and my mates, I might get Rami, a few few Aussies I know kind of thing. Um, be easier, I guess, to buy your own server. And the, the third question was... Oh, nearly burped in the mic then. Anyway, what is your favourite hobby besides gaming? And I suppose YouTube. Um, for me, I... Yes, RuneScape. <laughs> oh, that's in gaming, but um, I just play I heaps know, of sports. What's b- besides beside gaming. gaming, yeah, like um, I play sports at school heaps. Um, I do, I do athletics like running and stuff. So that's pretty much it. I don't I, really I have would much say other mine's hobbies. Cars. I'm I'm really into cars and stuff. Like I don't know, at young age I got into cars because my dad's actually a mechanic, and that that became a thing that I was always into. So yeah. Uh, right. but we'll end the episode here because I think we went for like 15 minutes, pretty close to on the dot mm. kind of thing. Um, so Rani, Ram, Rami, Ram, <laughs> Rami, Rami, <laughs> Rami's channel will be in the description as well as the people's topics we used. Um, obviously some were mine. Um, feel free to leave a like, it, it's greatly appreciated. Also leave a comment if you want to see more guests, if you want more of Rami, if you want <laughs> Rami to be in the SMP, if you want different, suggest guests. Now think of the people you've seen me in contact with. Don't be like, oh, could you go get Sly Fox? Because I'm not in great contact with him. I've got some contact with him, but he won't do a video with me. That's Let's just face it. Um, but yeah, you can feel free to private message him if you want. I actually wanted to do a video of Ant Venom, but I can't get in contact with him at all. But I feel me and him have similar interests, and it would be cool. Because like, he even has a texture pack, and I want to make a texture pack. Yeah. And he's interested in the mobs and stuff, and, and technical stuff, but he's not like so advanced above me that i have no clue kind of thing and i think we would go good together but yeah um thanks for watching everyone once again links in the description and bye see you